So out here uh, we have the Philippine Marine Corps Force Recon as well as the Special Operations Platoon and of course um, working side by side with the counterparts from the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, right now we're just zeroing our rifles in preparation for the MOUT which is uh, military operations in urban terrain as well as the close quarter combats in the next coming days. So um, I think that why the general population should care about Common Dog is because um, what we do out here, the sacrifices that we put out, isn't really just for us. So it's really for the safety and the security of the nation. So um, you know, while they may not be directly involved in the exercise, um, whatever show of support, uh, in whatever little way they can, goes a long way to help us out. The, I'm, personally, I just feel very um, fortunate to be out here training with you guys and training uh, with the Force Recon team on our side. Um, being reservists, I think that this is one of the best learning experiences that we can hope to have. And, uh, you know, sh just sharing stories, combat or otherwise, um, it just really gives us a better perspective of how life is on the other side of the globe, how life is in the combat zone and um, just in general people would pay big money to participate or do what we do out here so you know and and to simplify things i guess i could say that we're just really damn proud to be you know working with uh, one of the most elite forces in the world yeah so uh, what we're doing with the small arms fire and kind of the goal that i have here uh, with the scout sniper platoon from 2-2 is to continue to build our friendships and uh, we've already met a lot of guys that, that are that are really savvy uh, and we've been able to be, build a strong partnership with them um, learn some things from them especially with jungle movement um, and jungle techniques um, and then employment of the weapon systems being able to communicate our shooter observer dialogue um, is different uh, but for us builds a better alliance between us being able to communicate from a mission support site or, or an ORP directly to the observation post that may have Filipinos on it uh, while we're doing joint or coalition missions with uh, the Filipinos. Yeah, so some of the benefits uh, that, that I've noticed is increased reliance on capabilities. Uh, so as, as I continue to train my Marines alongside the Filipinos, I've been able to learn things from, from their lieutenants, from their captain, um, as well as my Marines have been able to learn some things uh, from the Filipinos as well. So not only have we been communicating directly and, and working shooter reserver dialogue um, and basic fundamental marksmanship, we've also been able to learn some things uh, from Australians that we've met, from the Japanese that are out here as well. Uh, for me, being out here at Kamenong is uh, a huge success. Uh, I can see the 
whole training workup kind of come come to fruition. Um, really, everything I've done thus far with the platoon has been train the trainer, right? So, so developing NCOs, developing those guys on their second, third deployment in order to train the, the, the next crop of guys that are going to come in after this deployment. So this allows us to do the same thing while learning something from our friends and partners and allies here uh, in the Philippines.